able to like sleep all day, to be totally honest. And <clears throat> I thought it was just because I got home from Milwaukee and I just needed, excuse me, I just needed a little bit of time, you know, to settle back in my house. Um, so, you know, I kind of figured sleeping for one or two days straight would be, that's fine, that's normal, you know, normal, usually people do that once they get home from trips, but, I don't know what it is, I think it's, you know, part, part well, for one, once I got back from Milwaukee, I got a tragic phone. <clears throat> hello, hello, hello. It's me. It's, um, yeah, it's early. Again, I got up pretty early. You know, again, like I said, I'm not the only one that got, um, sleeping issues. It's only, I only do this early, like I said, this early, is if, you know, I got things on my mind, or, you know, my teeth bother me. Thank God right now, my teeth have uh, eased off. It ain't hurting, but it's like this. If I eat something, I feel like, you know, it might stop at throbbing, so... I'm good for right now, but back to Nicole, of course. Um, she said she going through some changes. And, you know, when she got back from Milwaukee, she got some tragic news. And really and truly, Nicole... All you're doing is, is growing up. Life. That's all it is. Um, what you could be depressed about. I don't I think really the bottom line is what you ain't. You're not happy because one, you know, you probably want to be in a relationship. And that ain't worked out for you. Um... You're just not happy with how possibly the way you conduct in life. I don't think it got nothing to do with Dalvin. I think, well, you know, uh, Trudy ain't going to get nothing right no way. Especially when she put her spin on it. She's going to make it seem other than that. So, but I just think is that, you know, she missing home. She missing mama. And, uh, like she said, she had to leave her cat. And, you know, she real, she a real sensitive type person. So, she really, really, you know, the big definition of a girly white girl. You know? But, um, she just, that's basically what it is. She just a little depressed because she not happy with her life. She see everybody else, you know, doing things, going places, you know, making stuff happen. And what does she do? Which, to me, I feel like this right here. Only time, only reason that you could be depressed and Like that is, I mean, you just got to get up and do what you got to do. That's all. You know, and fight through that anxiety because of the simple fact. I mean, we all have a little anxiety in us. But if it's going to be to the point where it's going to make your life miserable, get some help. Go talk to, go talk to a therapist. I mean, because getting up there talking to YouTube ain't going to work. That's not the answer, baby. I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong. 
at some point in time, it is good therapy when you can get up there and um, you know and you know talk to your people. I'm not gonna knock that because I can say, you know, um, having this platform and stuff, you know, it do. Let me see. Let me put it. Let me let me get my words right. Hold on a minute. I'm trying to think and do two things at one time. So that's a hold on for a minute. Just hold on. Yeah, what I'm trying to say is, okay, I don't understand why she's so uh, depressed unless it got to be, it got to be because she ain't in a relationship with, um, she's not in a relationship. That's got to be it because first of all, baby, what are you being depressed about? I mean, if you don't, I mean, I understand she's still missing her family back in Milwaukee. I mean, if that's the case, you got the money, stop being so damn tight. Get up and go once a month. You don't do nothing else. If you want to make that, uh, uh, you ain't got no job that you really clock in, that you clock, that you got to be scheduled in. You work on your own time. You know, that's what you do with that. I mean, like I said, if you want to, you miss it like that. Start going once a month until you get tired of going. That's how you do that. I mean, ain't nowhere in the world if I was sitting there, you got the money, you can travel, go anywhere you want to go or whatever. So really the biggest thing about it is, is that I don't see no other depression that she has. Except for, like I said, missing Milwaukee and it ain't got no man. Shit, you you got the money. You just got you another nice ride. Then you getting ready to move out in two months to a bigger place. So what else could be depressing? So, I mean, shit, let it be where you didn't have no money and no man and, uh... Um, and couldn't do shit. So, I would say, my thing is, break it down. Break it all the way down. What's the problem? Well, I'm not going to share with you guys online. Um, because there's very personal stuff that I can see that's getting in my head. Me leaving my, mom, my family and friends in Milwaukee also leaving Shania there. And you ain't um, got no man. Like the better choice for her right now, but I am really missing her, and she is. <clears throat> she does hold me. Like I said, I mean, I, I mean, I think I'm the only one to say this, but I don't feel like Nicole want Dalvin. She do not want to be with Dalvin. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know when that, when he was with Ellie and she she was a little uh, distraught. Nicole, of course, was. You know what I'm saying? Because she was throwing little jabs here and there. And, you know, I guess they were too dumb. <laughs> I guess they were too dumb to get it, him and Ellie because she was throwing jabs. And then, you know, and then topping on the cake, they come back and have a cake for her. Oh, leave Nicole alone. She's this innocent and she ain't nothing but a devil with a red hood. So, I mean, she ain't that bad, but when it came to Dalvin and uh, Ellie, yeah, she was a little devil. 
she cared too much about that. She always had something smart to say. But uh, other than that, like I said, her biggest thing is there ain't nothing wrong with Nicole. Her depression is because she don't have no man. Now, if she had a man, you wouldn't even have this video here. And she don't want, to me, I feel like she don't want to come out and say that. If you're going to come out and, oh, well, I got, first of all, um, first of all, you know, if you're going to be honest, be honest with your people. What's wrong? Because it might be somebody else out there that going through and need to hear everything going to be okay. But. See? I can always grab her and snuggle up and like rub and kiss on her and stuff. And the sad part is she ain't no ugly girl. Ain't no big girl or nothing like that. What is it that you, I mean, you go out. You got your teeth. You look like you smell good. You keep your hair done, looking cute and all this other stuff. I mean, what is the problem? How is it that you, I mean, I'm not understanding that. I'm, I'm not understanding that at all. I ain't got no friends, no male, ain't going on no dates, nothing. Just just dating your cat. There you your own enemy, Nicole. You don't get out and live. You don't do nothing. You know, you got to get out and start doing shit. I mean, um, go out to... Um, they have uh day bars that you could that you ain't gotta go hang out at night. Go to the day bars. Have a drink, look cute. If it ain't nothing but going in there sitting and looking at TV for 20 or 30 minutes just to make a video come out. Find shit to do. That's why that's the problem. You ain't got nothing to do. You ain't got nothing to do. But sit in that house and marinate. Um, with you and that cat. And talking about a damn TikTok. Lord, that took me out when she said that she she actually uh, wrote down some notes. And it looked like it's two pages. And the thing about that is, okay. Um, get to the point. Say, read, I mean, you know, I mean, it's good. Thank God for fast forward. I promise you. Thank God for fast forward. Because, baby, it's going to take two days. I know it took about two or three days just to put that on paper. And, I mean, I'm not coming for it, but it's just like she just irky and annoying. With some of the stuff that she do. She really going to have to find, she going to have to, see, and that's another thing with a person that, if they go for so long being single, they're going to be so set in their ways that when somebody else come along, they ain't going to know how to, um, you know, compromise what they want and what they don't want. They're going to feel like is everything got to be their way since they was by themselves for so long. So, she better get with it. I was taking down notes all day and throughout the past couple of days. Didn't I tell you? Now I had these. I can't explain it. Did I, I tell you? That I had these. I had these looked at this video. I'm, look, we, I'm playing it as I go. I ain't even know. I just said, I just figured. Knowing how she is, I knew it took her more than to sit down a couple hours just to write this. I told you, I told you, I know how to read people, y'all. Say, like I have probably mentioned in the past when I upload this video, or I, I don't know if I'm depressed. I'm just trying to work through it, and I should be really happy right now. You know, I put in my two months notice to move out and find a different space but my mental like all I want to do 
And it may seem like, oh, Nicole, you're fine because you've been, you know, kind of posting and you did a video. That's all. Uh, and then, not to mention, you just come back from California. You just come back from California, you and your friends and stuff. I mean, like I said, you know that you got to be some type of uh, boredom of life if you went to California and you didn't have a good time. See, what it was, see, uh, one thing about it is, you know, she ain't no leader. So, basically, I'm pretty sure she did everything that they wanted to do. And she didn't do what she wanted to do. Well, she said that. You know, she said that in the video with Dalvin. You know, but she kept it cute. But, you know, I just feel like... Um, I feel like she... Um, she need to find somebody, a friend... And she ain't got no damn girlfriend. You hear what she said? She just wanted to come home and cut up with Sanaya. Then she left Sanaya in Milwaukee. She really going to go damn batshit crazy. But my suggestion is get out of your shell. As hard as it may be, it ain't as hard as you think. Really. I mean, start dating on start dating online. I mean, make it safe. You ain't got to go and do what Adrian do and go live with him and move in with him and shit when you meet him. You got your own shit. All you got to do, let's meet for drinks. That's it. That's it, and that's all. But if, if not... You're going to sit there and rot. Read your Bible. That's another thing that'll help you come out of that darkness. Read your Bible. Not an act, because I'm not, like, trying to fake it, but I don't want to come on camera and, like, bring you guys down. I'm supposed to be uplifting you. Excuse me. And you're supposed to watch my videos to... For you to also get out of maybe that headspace or whatever you're going through. Why she got so much food? 20, 30 minutes, whenever you turn, you know, the whole course on. Watch my channel, watch my Why videos. Why is it whitewashed? I'm supposed to help you. So I didn't want to anyway. give off that same energy and, you know, make you guys feel down. But it's actually getting to a, it's kind of getting really, really bad right now. Like I, said, I don't understand I, why I she got all literally it, I, 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 I all I've been doing is just laying in my bed I don't I mean so that I'm not going I don't care what nobody say and how many times they do it I don't understand no YouTube creator that that Put all that food in front of them and don't eat it. To me, it ain't nothing but a waste of money and waste of uh, food. I mean, that's a lot of food. And if she eating all that food like that, could go. Ain't no way in the world that girl. I don't care if she is. Even if she, um, even if she, uh, go for seconds. She still ain't eating all that food like that. Why not just... I mean, did you see all the hamburger and stuff that she made? I mean, why not? Because that's what I learned. I realized that now when I cook, I don't cook as much as I used to cook because, you know, Charlotte don't eat like that. She more... She done turned... Now her tastes have turned more... She'll eat... Um, like when I cook, but she'll eat that one time and she don't eat nothing. The rest of the time when she eat is she snacking on shit. So she might eat one time and after that, that's it. So that's why come um, I have narrowed down um how I cook now 
because I know if I sit here and cook like I used to cook, then it's I'm I'm throwing away more than I'm eating. And that's just a waste of money and time. I mean, you know, yeah, time too. So I don't know. I never I understand know. them sit I understand the presentation. You can make a presentation you can put one plate in front of you and have a nice presentation. Had a plate looking nice, what you gonna eat, what you gonna drink. I don't need uh if you eating just like she eating tacos. And you ain't got to have twelve tacos up there um this on um, display. If you're not gonna eat twelve, put up there what you gonna eat. That's all the sense that's what the sense make to me. Why is it you're not telling me? The content is not that great. I don't have great topics or I'm not going places that's exciting. I just feel like I'm not giving off the content that you guys like to see or watch. I'm not this spunky person right now. But hopefully I can get back. I mean, that's the thing. That's you. You sitting here depressed about something that you can change. That's the thing that, uh, you know, rattles me is because of the simple fact. You sitting here wasting your time about being depressed on something that you can change. You can get up. You can travel. You can move. Just like I said, you ain't got to be. You can go. You can put your, take the map out and put your finger where on on a uh, state and get up and go if that's what you want to do. If you want to go back home till you get it right, go back home. I mean, the only reason you came out to Houston was because of Dalvin. You ain't got to be there. If Milwaukee is where you want to be, go back to Milwaukee. Until you get it right. And then you can move where you want to go. Maybe when you go back to Milwaukee, you may find somebody. You may find that dude. So, you know, you the reason that you miserable. You walking around being miserable. Yeah. Perk it up. Because, um, yeah. Do things. Be more interesting with stuff that you do. You know, and start doing stuff that, um, get out of your comfort zone. That's a good one, too. Get out of your comfort zone, and it'll help you sometime get over that the anxiety, you know. And I take it, I notice that a lot of people, everybody on YouTube say, they have um, anxiety problems or they have a thing where um, they don't like crowds. Well, I don't like crowds. Um, or they have some type of anxiety when they are, put it this way, okay, when they're around people. And I'm like, is everybody die? Is everybody diagnosing themselves with that? I mean, because it ain't too many YouTube creators that I watch that they don't say that they got anxiety issues, and that they don't like to be around people or they don't like people. I'm like, wow. I mean, for me. I don't care too much about crowds because of the simple fact, you know, you can't see everything going on. I don't mind going, like I said, you know, I don't mind going to the club where a crowd is at. As long as it's not the type of crowd when I'm walking through that I got to rub up against somebody or somebody got to rub up against me to get by. I don't want to be in, uh, I don't like that kind of uh, crowd. But 
far as like, you know, cookouts. As long as it's, I mean, I don't mind going to cookouts. I don't mind going to um, house parties. You know, I just don't like being in mass of people. Put it that way. Now, I don't mind being out and about. Like that don't bother me. Hell, I go to back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it won't nothing for me to get dressed and go, you know, and go hang out, go somewhere by myself. I ain't never had a problem with uh, going somewhere and, uh, you know, going by myself. So, she, you know, like I said, I think her biggest thing, once she find her uh, man, yeah, all that right there, all that right there going to end. She going to be happy. She going to be happy and you know it. Clap her hands. She going to be happy and you know it. She going to tell it in her face. She going to be happy and you know it. Cause the nigga going to be staying in her place. With that being said, y'all, be good. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Go get your aunts, uncle, grandma, all on. Yeah. When they come in, you looking at me, ever who got a channel, or if even if they ain't got a channel, if they got, just got an account, go get them and tell them to subscribe and leave a comment. And say, what's up, auntie? You know what I'm saying? I love y'all. And I'm out. Mwah.